This video was edited by AJ Analysis, a link to his channel will be in the description below. But before I go any further, if you need a place where you can keep up to date with the latest transfer news, find all the match stats you need from games across the globe, and watch highlights and stream live football matches, then you need to download the OneFootball app. I use the OneFootball app because it's completely free, and not only do they have stats and transfer news, but they also have videos to watch and articles to read, which is where I get a lot of my ideas for new videos, and as I said before, you can stream live football matches and watch highlights highlights all on the app. Downloading the OneFootball app will help support the channel as well, so I'll leave it linked in the description below. So along with players like Christian Eriksen, Yuri and Timber, and Frankie de Jong, all of whom I have made individual videos about, which will be linked in the description below, Ajax is Anthony is another Ajax associated player who has been heavily linked with Manchester United in recent weeks. But how good is he actually? I assume you've probably watched a few highlights videos to gauge what type of player he is, and ultimately how good he is, and I don't think anyone can deny his talent but often there are players with huge talent who do look exceptional in YouTube videos due to being able to perform a moment of magic, whether this is through an individual goal assist or just their ability to dribble past players. But some of these players don't produce this output consistently to become a top level player. A great example of this would be someone like Hatton Benarfa or Rubinho who were fantastic players with their outstanding dribbling and flair but could never reproduce these moments of brilliance in big games or consistently over a full season. And you can understand why some people may think that Anthony could fall into this category. Anthony scored 8 goals and picked up 4 assists in 23 Eredivisie games last season, whilst also managing 2 goals and 4 assists in 7 Champions League games. In total, that was 12 goals and 10 assists in 32 games in all competitions. So overall, it is a pretty decent record for a 22-year-old winger in his second season in Holland. But how does he rank for other metrics that may give us a more detailed understanding of his attacking output? I'll come onto that in just a bit, but let's first analyse how these goals and assists do come about and how he'd work in Ten Hag's Manchester United system. Well, as I said earlier, Anthony is a tricky wide play with fantastic close control dribbling and acceleration, and so suits the role of a natural winger perfectly, holding his width and looking to receive the ball before isolating the fullback in a 1v1, and then being able to either race down the outside into a crossing position, or cut inside onto his wand of a left foot to then release a arrowing shot into the far corner, or curling in across. In this sense, he reminds me a lot of Riyad Mahrez, being a left-footed, silky dribbler who plays from the right side, and like Mahrez, Whereas he does have the shooting ability on that left foot to score from distance. But I would argue that whilst Anthony is a player who's capable of top level brilliance, he does lack the consistent output as seen as he ranks only 29th out of every player in the Eredivisie for key passes with 1.9 per 90, which is less than Reese Nelson who recorded 2.2 per 90. And despite being known for his ability to take on players, he only ranks 16th for dribbles completed with 2.2 per 90, the same amount as Bruma and less than Cody Gakpo, Reese Nelson and Luis Sinistera. So you can see why I'm a little apprehensive about Anthony at Manchester United as whilst without doubt he has the talent and in my opinion has the potential to be a world class player if he can produce that top level output that we know he can but over a whole season he may not yet be ready for Manchester United. He is just 22 years old so could improve rapidly over the next few seasons. To me it comes down to whether you believe in Anthony's potential and I think without doubt he will develop into a top level winger. The question is how long does this development take and I think if he were to move to Manchester United likely for between 40 and 45 to maybe 50 million pounds, he would need a bedding in season where you would probably see glimpses of his ability, but he would be inconsistent throughout large periods of the season, similar to how Jaden Sancho's first season went. He may need two full seasons before his ability and production come together and he starts putting out top level output. Now this isn't necessarily a problem as he is just 22 years old and United are building a side for the next three to six years. So if signed, United fans shouldn't be expecting a top level talent just yet, but a promising young player who can produce moments of brilliance. If if the interest from Ten Hag is there, which I think it definitely is given the credible reports, then it seems like Ten Hag does want to use at least one, likely two natural wingers in his system, likely being Sancho from the left and a new signing like Anthony from the right. Anthony would fit this role perfectly and so without doubt I think a fee in the region of 40 to no more than 45 million pounds up front would be a good deal for United. So Anthony would be a signing I agree with, however I do think that there are some other options for United as well. Rafinha at the moment is a better player than Anthony, but is slightly older at 25, though the only issue is that Leeds are reportedly demanding £65 million, which is too much in my opinion. I'd pay a maximum of £55 million, but I think around £45 to £50 million would be a fair price. Serge Gnabry would be my first choice. He'd cost between £50 and £60 million with just one year left on his contract, and I do think he's a level above Rafinha, and about two levels above Anthony, though it may be hard to convince him to join without Champions League
League football, and I think he may prefer to see out his contract at Bayern and move on a free next summer with a bigger signing on fee. But apart from those two, I think it's hard to find a better option than Anthony. Usman Dembele is a player that I think United should avoid because of his huge wage package and his injury and inconsistency issues, and Moussa Diaby, whilst being a great option as a left winger, isn't suited to playing on the right as much as Anthony, so I would prefer the Ajax man. So overall, Anthony's a very talented player who does need a lot of developing to reach his potential, but would still be a great signing for Ten Hag if he did want a natural right winger. So let me know what you think of Anthony in the comment section below, and check out some of my other videos which will be linked in the description as well.